Hi folks, this is Yachtsman1 from the Pictures to XE forum. I've decided to try and do a, a, a few basic tutorials on how beginners should use the latest version of Pictures to XE, which is 8.0.1. First of all on the screen you can see the screen I've got here is from a show that I did recently and it's got all the elements in there that I intend to talk to you about. But we'll go through the basic controls first. If you go to the top of the screen here you've got the toolbar at the top which has the usual Windows headings such as File, just click on it and you get a drop down, Publish, Project, Slide, Settings, Help. Now in the Help tab, if you scroll down to the bottom and click on About Pictures to Exe, it brings up a pop-up which gives you the actual version of Pictures to Exe that, you're, that you are using. So this tutorial is for Pictures to Exe Deluxe 8.0.1. Just click OK to get rid of that. Now of the screen here, if, if you want it to look differently, there are various little tricks that you can use that aren't mentioned in the manual, I don't think, or aren't mentioned in the current manual. One I use frequently is the drag facility. If you hover your mouse over lines at the edge of the screen, this one in particular, it opens the slide list and enables you to see a bigger view of the slide list. Now one I've got hidden at the moment on the left hand side here is the file tree. I've got that enabled at the in the section where you tick whether you want to see the file tree I always have that ticked and opening it out like that will show the full heading of particular folders where you've got items stored so we'll just shut that down again and with the view of the main working screen here you can enlarge that to a certain extent but there's no point in having it any further across than that because all you're seeing are the grey boundaries now I, I use an aspect ratio of 16 to 9 which uh, equates to my slide sizes are 1920 by 1080 so that's the view I'm getting of that size slide. Now the final drag facility is on the bottom here on the slide list on the bottom of the screen. You can drag that up and have a close look at the slide you're actually working on on the details of the slide as well. Right that's the little tricks. Now when you get your new version of Pictures to Exe 8.01 it will come with certain facilities not enabled and you can customize what you see to your own liking and you do this from the settings tab if you click on the settings tab and scroll down to preferences that will bring up a series of tabs where you can do various things. I'm just checking how, how much time I've used on this at the moment. I'm trying to limit each tutorial to five minutes. So at the moment we're okay. Right, back to the preferences tabs. Editions is just the deluxe or the essential version. For the purpose of this exercise I'm using the deluxe version. Now there is a box there where you can compare the editions but presumably you'll have done that before you actually bought the version that you are using. Project 
these are the various headings that I've got ticked. Auto recovery, auto save file every, and it saves my work every seven minutes, which is handy if you had a power failure or something like that. Load last project on startup. A lot of people have trouble finding which project they're, they've been working on from the file tree. I've got that ticked, so when I open pictures to exit, it automatically opens that particular show that I've been working on. This box here, hold time points after changes in the slide list, I've got it unticked. Um, there's discussions going on, and I rate that as an advanced feature at the moment. By default, it's, it's off. Show full slide duration, that refers to this area in the bottom of the screen which gives you various sizes of slides, duration and other information. There you've got the duration 7 seconds. Another which I class as advanced features is keep full slide duration. Again, I'll not discuss that in this first tutorial. Likewise with this item. Scale keyframes in objects on time change. That I class as advanced. Optimization of video clips. This box here enables you to either use pictures to exit to optimize the video clip that you're going to add to your, to your slideshow or never convert it. At the moment I've got it set to never convert. There's a reason for that which I'll not go into at the moment. Finally there's these two items at the bottom here encrypted images, video and audio against extracting. I've got that ticked or it's ticked by default. Right, we're running out of time now so I'll just go into system. Software updates. At the moment I've got that unticked and I think that's the default setting. Double click in the slide list. Show slide properties in window. Again, I've got the default set there. Display full screen preview, ask every time. That's how I've got the it set, which is the default. External editors. Now this enables you to, if you use Photoshop or Elements or some other photo editor, you can set this up so that it automatically, when you want to edit a picture, you double click on it and it'll take you to the photo editor that you normally use on your computer. At the moment I haven't got any of those set. Likewise with video editor, that's the same function with video editing. Audio editing, at the moment I'm trying to learn how to use the pictures to exe audio functions but usually I use Audacity. I haven't got that preference set there. Final three things. Minimize video card usage for slow PC. I've got that unticked. Show real slides in slide list. That's ticked. Show animation in slide list. That's ticked. So we'll leave this section now and this is the end of tutorial number one.